Today we are tackling a dataset spread across five columns, and our goal is to reshape it into just three columns by grouping every three consecutive cells in a row. Sounds tricky? Don't worry, I've got you covered. It's a great way to get comfortable with list functions in Power Query. First of all, let's combine the rows into a single list. Create a new step and we'll start by applying the table to rows function. This converts each row of the table into a list. Think of it like grouping all the cells in one row into a neat little box. Why start with a single list? By combining everything into one list, we simplify our table structure, making it easier to group and rearrange the data later. Next, we'll use list combine function. This takes all those row-level lists and flattens them into one big list containing all the table values. If there are any empty cells or nulls, you'll want to get rid of them now. Use the list remove nulls function to clean up the list before moving forward. This step ensures we are working only with the data we need. Here's where the things get interesting. Now we need to split that single long list into smaller lists, each containing three values. This is where the magic happens. List split is our tool here. It takes the long list and divides it into nested lists, where each one contains exactly three values. This step is super handy for organizing data into manageable chunks. Now that we have our groups of three, we can turn each group into a record using list transform function. Think of a record as a row of data with column headers attached. To add column headers, just use curly brackets to define them. For example, date, product, quantity. Finally, we use the table from records function to stitch everything together. This takes our records and combines them into a single cohesive table. And that's it. If you are comfortable with M language, you can combine all these steps into a single formula for a more efficient workflow. It's a great way to show off your skills and save even more time. So, we've reshaped our messy five-column dataset into a neat table with three columns using some powerful list functions. Not only did we accomplish our goals, but we also gained some valuable insights into how lists work in Power Query. Thanks for sticking around, and if you'd like to see how to solve this challenge using dynamic array formulas in Excel, check out my other video linked in the description. See ya!